How to understand the origins of wedding superstitions. Many marriage rituals are meant to offer luck to the happy couple, while others are meant to protect them from spirits who may wish them a not so happy future. You will need engagement and wedding rings, a veil, bridesmaids, a kiss, and a strong husband. Optional, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, and herbs. Step one, wear the engagement and wedding ring on the fourth finger of the left hand. In the past, that finger was believed to be a direct connection to the heart. Brides wear something old as a connection to the past, combined with something new for the future. Something borrowed from a happy bride would ensure good luck, while something blue symbolizes faithfulness, fidelity, and good luck, and wards off evil spirits to boot. Step 2. Disguise the bride with a veil. Ancient Roman and Greek brides wore veils as protection from evil spirits that sought to harm them because they were envious of happy people. Put herbs in your bridal bouquet. In ancient times, bouquets were a mixture of flowers and herbs because strong-smelling herbs would ward off evil spirits, bad luck, and ill health. Step 3. Confuse the spirits with decoy bridesmaids. In the past, bridesmaids wore dresses similar to the bride in order to confuse any nearby evil spirits who wished to harm the bride. Step 4. Seal your love with a kiss. During Roman times, all legal contracts were sealed with a kiss. Not only is the kiss a symbol of the bride and groom's love, it also denotes their agreement to enter into a lifelong contract. Step 5. Carry the bride across the threshold. In ancient times, it was considered unlucky if the bride were to trip while crossing into her new home or enter with her left foot. So her new husband gets the honor of carrying her through the doorway. Follow these superstitions and enjoy a happy marriage. Did you know? England's Queen Victoria married in a white gown in 1840 and originated the Western tradition that has lasted to this day. Before then, brides simply wore their best dress.